Hey friends, it's Essentially Jessie. I'm here with Bonnie. And today we're talking about a fragrance that I have totally changed my mind on. Oh my stars. We're talking about Chinatown by Bond number nine. Now, I don't know if you've seen the bottle like this or like this, but it looks different on each side. I decluttered this fragrance. It sat on my Mercari. I saw a review, read something about it. I can't remember. Something just sparked my interest and I thought, I'm going to smell that again. And I wore it that day and I got compliments on it and I fell in love with it. And I'm like, this is why, this is why you don't declutter fragrances too quickly. So, okay, so the first time I smelled this, I sprayed it on my, okay, I sprayed it on my hand and to, today I did, uh, just to like, refresh get a good wear anyway so originally whenever i picked up chinatown by bond number nine it was in a little set that had two or three fragrances with it that's why i have the smaller bottle um i think i think that's how i purchased it anyway uh chinatown was like it's a white floral so when i smelled it the first time i was like mm, that's interesting and then the more i smelled it i was like this isn't a white floral at all what am i doing with this let's declutter it so there's been a couple of fragrances that I have changed my mind on and um, I'm shooting some videos about fragrances that I will be repurchasing, about fragrances that I have already repurchased and fragrances that I will not be repurchasing and why. Um, so Chinatown, like I said, I probably decluttered this close to a year ago, but it just sat on my shelf in the box and continued to macerate and I'm so glad that nobody purchased this fragrance. I love it. Okay. so. It is very unique because it has the note of cardamom in it. Now, with that being said, it also helps the longevity of this fragrance. It has sandalwood in it. It has, um, let me look up like all the notes. So it starts off in the top with peach blossom and bergamot. That very quickly goes away. Next in the mid is tuberose, gardenia, peony, orange blossom. The tuberose is the most prominent white floral by far. But the base notes, it very quickly dries down to the base because the cardamom is so stout. And the base notes are cardamom, vanilla, sandalwood, guyacwood, patchouli, and Virginia cedar. Now, I will say that this is mostly a like, it's considered more white floral than cardamom, but I would consider this a cardamom forward fragrance with as long as I've had this bottle and this juice. Um, it's got the batch number on the bottom of it. Who knows how like, I mean, I could look it up, but when this was made, but at this point it is really cardamom forward. I love cardamom. Uh, Intoxicated by Killian is probably another one of my favorite cardamom forward fragrances. And I love the bottle on bond number nine. Let me show you what the packaging looks like. So the packaging is the same thing on both sides, but it's just reversed. I love how they did the packaging on this. I'm not sure if bond number nine has any other packages like bottles that are like this where it's the same thing just in reverse on the other side but i think it is so cool and very creative on their part this is very long lasting i can see wearing this i really love to wear this i've worn this all day i've worn it to work i've worn it uh, date night i've worn it uh, i don't think i've worn it to like any events or anything like that but chinatown is a really versatile fragrance but i will say that this is not a safe blind buy unless you know you love cardamom forward fragrances because this is very cardamom forward like i said i do you see i've got all the pink going on <laughs> and bonnie is ready for spring with her little with her little hair puffs um anyway but this is a great fragrance for spring i think the bottle screams spring but i would say this is definitely a year-round fragrance whenever i first purchased it i thought this is a spring summer fragrance and the more i've worn this the more i'm like this is going to be amazing for fall and winter so i always keep it 100 here on my channel i always am honest with you guys about what my opinions are i have paid for almost every fragrance that i own um and i just i I have to let you guys know when I changed my mind. I did the same thing on Kaoli Invite Only. I have a fragrance review on that, and then I have a I changed my mind on it fragrance review on that. If you guys want to check that out, because as time goes by, things your nose changes, things that you like change, the way you smell notes to me changes, and I just couldn't not tell you about this 
gem of a fragrance. So do you have Chinatown by Bond number no. nine? Do you love it? Do you not like it? Have you smelled it before? Like I said, probably not a safe blind buy unless you're really into fragrances or really into the note of cardamom. This is not, I bought this fragrance thinking that it was going to be mostly tuberose because I had a tuberose era, as you will see as you watch my channel. Um, if this is your first time here and you love fragrance related content or your hundredth time here and you love fragrance related content, like please take a minute, hit subscribe, hit the like button. Let me know what you think about bond number nine. Uh, which one is your favorite? Which bond is your favorite? Like I'm a bond girl. I've got bonds coming up in three of my like six upcoming videos. China Town by Bond number nine, a gorgeous fragrance for this time of year, a gorgeous fragrance for the whole year. Uh, I would just really, I would really say this would be a great date night fragrance. Like whether it's first date, millionth date, whatever. I think it's a great fragrance. And I just, when I look at this, I mean, it is like peach blossom is an opening and it's got some kind of blossoms on the front. Um, but it's just not as floral as I had anticipated it being. And so when I sprayed it after looking at the packaging, I thought, this is just not what I expected. But the more I wear it, the more I love it. So I wanted to be 100% honest with you guys and let you know that I am loving Chinatown by Bond number nine. Thank you guys so much for watching. As always, I love your comments. I'm actually filming a video based on uh, someone's recommendation to film a video on ladies with lap dogs, like what fragrances would they wear? So I'll be filming that and releasing that shortly. But thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, click the notification bell. Smell you later.